Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful fine crystal flower bracelet. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step. So I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and uh, I will make earrings and I will also make a necklace with this matching this bracelet so if you subscribe you will be notified when I release them okay and uh, you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations and down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 8 0 beads and here I use also 11 0 seed beads and these are faceted crystals also called rondelle. They are 4 by 6 millimeters. Here I use lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring and this is monofilament that is 0.006 inches through 0.15 millimeters and you could use 0.14 or 0.16, it doesn't matter. And here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers, they are not obligatory, I only help myself to go through the difficult beads with them. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back here in order to start my bracelet. And I'm starting it by picking up two seed beads and then I'm taking my clasp and then I'm taking three more seed beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down Okay, and I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot just like this and now guys this is what I have and what I do next is that I go around through all of my beads, reinforcing this part here where my clasp is. Okay, and now what I want to do is exit through this golden bead that is just the opposite of my clasp and from here on what I want to take are two seed beads a crystal an 11 0 a crystal and two seed beads okay this is what I have on my needle and I'm going back here through this seed bead Okay, here because here is my knot, I need to go to use my pliers to go through it. If you pull hard, I think you will do without pliers, but I prefer to use them. Okay, now I have this, and I'm going to flip my work like this. Now I'm going here through this crystal just like this okay and I go through this middle seed bead here okay just like that what I want to take is one crystal then I'm going to take five golden beads like this 
and one more crystal okay this is what i have and i go back in circle through this middle golden bead here now guys i have this and i will go one more time reinforcing this part here Okay, now I have this. And now guys, I'm exiting here of my crystal and in my next step, I will go through these three seed beads. Okay, I'm going through three beads and I pull. Now I'm exiting out of the middle bead here two two and this is the middle one and i'm exiting out of it and now what i want to take are six eight o's of this beautiful red color okay and i have my six here and as i'm exiting here from this golden bead i'm going back in circle through it just like this Okay, and pull. Now I have this. And then I'm going through the first red one here. Okay, I'm exiting out of the first red bead here. I take one golden, just one. I go through the next red one here. Then in my next step, I take another golden and I go through the following red, another golden, go here through the following, and I will continue this. Okay guys, and here I am, and I will skip this angle golden bead and go directly through the red one. And then I pull. Okay, now I have this. And I'm going here through this golden and through the following red. Just like this. And I take one golden and I go through the opposite red one and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay, you see my thread is pointing in this direction and I go through the opposite thread bead in the same direction. Okay, and now guys, this is what I have. And as I'm exiting through this red ato, what I want to do is reach here this 11 o. That is just the opposite of this one. Okay, and as I'm exiting from this golden bead here, what I want to do is take two golden beads, one crystal, one seed bead, one crystal, and two more golden beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And as I'm exiting here, I'm going back in circle through this 11 o And I pull. Now you see what I have. And I'm going here through this crystal. Okay. Now I go here in the center through this seed bit. And what I want to take is one crystal, 
then five seed beads okay i have here five seed beads and one crystal and then one more crystal and this is what i have on my needle and as i'm exiting from this middle bead here i'm going back in circle through this seed bead okay just like that then i go back here okay and you could reinforce this part if you want Okay, and now I have this and now what I want to do is go through these three seed beads here, just like that. Now I have this and now guys I'm going to repeat what I did here and it was to take six of these beautiful atos. Okay, I have six atos. And as I'm going through this middle golden bead, I'm exiting out of it and I'm going back in circle through the same bead here. Okay, pull tight. Then I go through the first red bead. I take just one golden. And I go through this eight hole. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay. And now guys, as I'm exiting here, I'm going to take one golden and I will go through the opposite ato. Just like that. Okay. Now I have this. And now guys, I will go in this direction. And I will exit through this golden bead here. Okay. And I will show you one more time what I'm doing. Okay, I'm taking two seed beads, one crystal, one seed bead, one crystal and two more seed beads. Okay, this is what I have. And I go back in circle through this golden bead. And if you want, you could go one more time, reinforcing this part here. Okay, and now I take one crystal five seed beads and one more crystal you see a crystal five crystal and i go back here in circle like this and what i want to do is reinforce This one you could easily do with two needle technique, but I always prefer to use one. It's easier for me. Okay, guys, and now you know what to do. Go through the first three beads of your work. And from here on, repeat six atos and in between them, 
uh, at uh, 11 ohms and here in the center one and then continue the same thing if you forgot how i did it just rewind the video and um, repeat it okay uh, and when i have a bracelet that's long enough i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and when i continue beading this is what i have i make seven crystal flowers because my wrist is really small and now i'm finishing the last seven flower seventh flower if you make it this long you will need 28 crystals but you might want to need 32 if your wrist is uh, larger or even more okay and i'm here at my last step and what i want to do is reinforce my work okay here i go one more time through those last crystals and what i want to do next is go here at the edge and attach my jump ring okay and i go here in the middle golden bead like i did before i have two i have two and i'm exiting here out of this middle bead and i'm going to take five golden beads okay i have my five here and i'm going to take this is my jump ring and I will go back in circle through this middle bead, forming here a loop, and then I'm going to reinforce it. Okay, I will reinforce it two or three times, and when I'm ready, I will go through some beads and make a knot. I will make my knot, let's say, here. And I'm making it by making a loop and going once, then go second time through the loop I've made. I pull, then I go here through my crystal, like this. and i want to go through some beads in this direction and repeat my knot let's say i want to exit here okay and now guys here i'm making again a loop going once going second time through this loop i've made pulling and then i go in my next bead here and what i do is that i cut my thread and now guys my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my flower crystals fine bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you helped me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me